Hello, my name is Alexey. In this series of video tutorials, we will learn how to build a website from scratch on Joomla 4. In previous video tutorial, we create site main page in SP Page Builder for Lite and menu item for this page. In this video tutorial, we will create an About Us gallery and portfolio page. Let's start with About Us page. We will create it with the help of SP Page Builder for Lite. First of all, as in previous video tutorial, let's create new page. I call it About Us. And let's now create a menu item for it. In top menu, we will create new menu About Us. We will look for SP Page Builder here, page and select our page about us. If we update our site, we will see about us page with no elements. Our page will be like on demo site. But also we will add breadcrumbs here. So, let's start with this block. First of all, let's create a new row and add text add-on. As in previous video tutorial, I will use some example text just for test purpose. First of all, let's add our title. It will be about us. Let's make it bigger. For example, like this. Let's make it bold or not so bold like this. Now let's add one more row with two columns. Here I will add tab We can change style We can change other settings but I'll just leave it let them like that, just for now, and I will rename this tab, for example, tab1, and I will create tab2, and tab3. So, I have three tabs. Two of them contain text object and one is empty. I can change this text or I can delete this add-on. For example, like this. Click here and just delete. I can add any add-on here. For example, text block. And here I can add image We already work with these add-ons so I won't change them just know you can enter settings and change these settings these settings Here I can add one more add-on for example button also, I can change the settings exactly as we see it in previous video tutorial, but I will leave like this. Just save and let's check. We have About Us, three tabs, and here we will add our accordion. And just type it here, move here, and also we can add tabs. We can change style.
I'll leave like this, just by default. Also, as for this add-on, I can add existing accordion tabs. And add new one. Also, I can change some icon. For example, search for Joomla. Here we can see the icon. Here we can change a lot of styles. But I will delete the icon and leave just like this, without icon, just text. Also, we can add add-ons here, for example, button or feature box or maybe some icon. So, just know that in tabs here in Accordion here we can add any add-on and use this add-on just in the same way like we use it out of the tabs or Accordion. Let's save it and check it. Ok, let's add another row, for example like this, with some background. Now let's add new row. Let's change background. It will be color. Something like this. Let's add new add-on. It will be text block. I will make this text much more smaller, like this, add title, change some typography style. Now let's change the alignment and leave it like this. Also, I forgot to create a row with several columns, for example like this, for one column and three columns. Let's change our layout. Just add this. Here we need to add some space. For example, something like this. Yes, it will be just perfect. And now let's add three images with titles. Add image add-on. Upload our photo. Here they are. Just drag and drop them. Choose first one. Insert. Let's add title and make it just bigger. Here we can see it here, but we need it at the bottom, just like this and like this. I will duplicate this object move here, here, and now I will change the image, for example like this, and the title. I add some changes and let's see the result. Yes, we see these three images and we can move to this block. Let's add it here. For example, it will be 9 plus 3, just like that. Here I will add text block. 
with title and some small text like this. And here will be the button. Let's change alignment options. Vertical alignment, center. I will make this button called blog. It will be info style or I will leave just custom size will be extra large or oh, no this is too much just large and let's see what we've got here is our row Okay, I'll, I will leave this like this and let's add some title and breadcrumbs here. So, we need to go to our menu. About us. Here we can see page title tab. Enable page title. Add about us and just save the page update it and we can see our title but without breadcrumbs. Let's go to our modules, system, site modules and create a breadcrumb. I will title them like this, breadcrumbs with no showing the title. Here I can see breadcrumbs position I will need to find breadcrumb position exactly for our template. Shaper Helix Ultimate. Here is breadcrumb. I will show it not on all pages. I will show on all pages except home page. Just save and we can see home about us and here we won't see home about us. That's like I want it. In previous video tutorial we already create some gallery. Now let's create menu call gallery. This page we can save and save and close. Let's go back to our component as Easy Image Gallery, Album and let's create Gallery Album. We need to add Feature Images. As you can remember we can upload it here. I will choose the already existing one and just save it and drag and drop here our images. They were upload. Now just save and close. Go back to top menu. Create new menu item called gallery. Here we can select SP image gallery. Just one album gallery and let's see what we've got. We've got gallery. We can look at our pictures. Now let's see how to change this title. Let's go back to components. Image gallery. Gallery. For example this image. We can add it. We can change title. We can change description. Also we can change LT tag. Let's see one example. Here we can see our title and our description.
also we can add some disc for whole gallery here it is also let's see some menu settings we can change album layout for example like this let's update our page we can see this layout so you can change some settings and make your page as you like now let's create portfolio page we will use sp simple portfolio just download it let's go to installation section just drag and drop it and wait while it install after installation let's go to components we can see sp simple portfolio we can see items categories tags i will start with simple portfolio category i will call it portfolio there are other options but i won't change them okay the next step is just add some tags i will add portfolio 1 portfolio 2 and portfolio 3 these tags will be used for items creation let's add new item let's add title let's add some image for example i will create new folder call it portfolio here i will upload some images and i will select the first one i will choose this tag i can add some description also i can add some youtube video it's not necessary but just for example let's try to save we can see our first element here we can insert client name just for example client avatar i will use avatars from previous lesson for example like this maybe it's too small but for example it's okay let's save and close it and let's create portfolio menu i call it portfolio here we can see a space simple portfolio default page simple portfolio settings let's choose our category called portfolio other options i won't change but here in page title i will enable page title and call it portfolio let's update we can see portfolio here and we have this error why because in our settings we forgot to choose category now let's choose it update and we can see our portfolio we can watch youtube video or we can view the page with this portfolio and now i will just create one more item for example portfolio 2 i will select image from our folder here will be portfolio 2 category portfolio i will add some text i won't add image for the video let's save it update the page 
we can see our new item we can zoom it we can view it also here we can filter these items like this now let's add another item portfolio 3 I will select the last image portfolio 3 category portfolio and here I will add an external URL for example from my site just post it here also I will add description just for example let's update the page and we can see our portfolio I can click view and I can click view project I can use not only external but all no internal link so just knew how it works if we go back here go back to our menu let's change thumbnail size refresh the page and we can see like this so now you know how to create portfolio and gallery page in the next video tutorial we will create contact page with contact form and google map we will also set up mail forwarding if you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.